Hey everyone, we just came up with an idea for launching paper gliders from water rockets. You tell us if it's going to work, and your comment could appear in our next video. In this video, we're introducing a new interactive feature called Fail or Fly, which will give you, our highly intelligent audience, the chance to participate in our videos by leaving your comments, which we will use in the follow-up video. The general idea for this feature is this. We will present a new design, concept, or prototype in our Monday video release. In that video, we will show you all the important details of the build plus any testing or setup we did. Then it's up to you to comment and tell us whether you think it will fail or fly when we test it. We will post the results of the test the following Friday, and we will feature the first commenters who most accurately predicted the outcome in the results video. Let's get started with our first exciting experiment. We proudly bring you the Water Rocket Apogee Deployed Paper Glider Project. You tell us, will it fail or fly? This idea originated a few weeks ago when we were testing a new, miniature, servo altimeter actuated radial deploy system mounted in the tornado tube fairing at the tail of a rocket. When arming the new deploy system, we realized that the rubber band could potentially be used to clamp an experimental payload to the side of the rocket, then release it at Apogee. The first thing we thought we should try to attempt was to launch a paper glider this way. We procured some paper and then folded a number of gliders for the experiment. The experimental concept that we had in mind would be to use a rubber band attached to the nose of the rocket to propel the paper glider at apogee, like a slingshot. The paper glider would be secured to the side of the rocket during flight by the radial deploy system holding the tail of the glider, and released at apogee. Paper is not particularly durable, so we cut some plastic strips from a soft drink bottle to make reinforcements for the paper glider at the rubber band attachment points. One attachment point is at the nose where the launching rubber band is connected. We glued one plastic strip here for reinforcement and clamped it while the glue set. The second attachment point is at the tail where the radial parachute deploy system holds the glider. We made a tail hook sort of arrangement from the plastic strips and glued it here. When the glue was cured, we cut a notch in the front reinforcement strip to form a hook for the launching rubber band. Before launching, we decided to test the system on the ground to see that everything was functioning as expected. We hooked the paper glider onto the launching rubber band and then stretched it along the side of the airframe where it was hooked into position by the parachute cover rubber band. If everything works as planned, the paper glider should be forcefully launched at Apogee when the parachute is deployed. It should be fascinating to see how far the glider travels when launched from that height. With everything armed and in place for the ground test, we trigger the deploy to see what would happen. Success! The design worked exactly as planned. The next step is to do the actual test flight launch. We waited for a day when there were very light winds so as not to disturb the glider in flight. Then we armed the system just like we did with the ground test. First, we connected the launcher rubber band and we stretched it along the airframe. Then we hooked the tail of the glider to the parachute cover rubber band. Several onboard cameras were installed to ensure that we got good recordings of the glider launching and hopefully some glider in-flight footage as well. The rocket was then pressurized and was ready for launch. So what do you think? Did it fail or fly? Let us know in the comments below what you think happened. If you're one of the first people to get the outcome right, or you say something particularly humorous or interesting, we will feature your comments in Friday's video. If you leave a video comment, we may even include your video clip. We will let you know the results on Friday. 
If you're a new visitor to our channel, please subscribe. It really helps us keep making these videos. And you really don't want to miss the results of this experiment anyway. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here on Friday.